What's up guys? So, as I said I was gonna do, I'm going to delude my 8700K, so stay tuned for that. All right, so there it is in all of its glory, my 8700K. Um, as I said in my last video, the reason you would want to buy an 8700K over a 9700K is because one is soldered and the other one is not. So one you can deal with and one you cannot. I say you cannot, you can, but you have high risk of breaking it. So don't do it, please. Leave it to pre for people that can afford it. So deleting Intel is a little bit easier than deleting AMD because Intel does not put capacitors on the top. I guess on their lower end stuff. I know they did on their higher end stuff. Unless something has changed. Who knows, maybe there's a capacitor under there and I can knock it off. But that's okay, because I know how to solder them back. So yeah, if you don't know, which if you're looking at this video, you probably well know all this, but I'll go through anyways. This is called the IHS, the Integrated Heat Spreader. And the reason you want to delight it is because one, th the thermal paste that they use is usually not good. It's of pretty low quality. So what you would do is delight it. That way you can take off that crap thermal paste and put on good thermal paste. There's also other things you can do while you have it off. For more, I guess you'd more say not do that even further improves performance, which is what I'll be doing, is they seal this with uh, some kind of silicone adhesive. And once you scrape that off, it lowers the distance of the IHS, making better contact with the substrate, and which means for you more performance. So something you'd wanna do. I haven't used this tool in a while though. Okay, so we have the arrow here, so obviously that's the way it goes. Cool, it's all locked in. And what this tool does is it uses force to push this off and break that silicone bond. So we're watching in here and we're listening that it's going to make a pop. You're going to shit a brick when you hear it, but it's fine. It's how you do it. I don't think I need any of this. Once you hear that pop, I mean, that's how you know the IHS is off and we're free to start cleaning. Because there'll be more cleaning. Yay, more cleaning. Just so you know, <laughs> there's a shortage of CPUs by Intel right now. And this thing's a little older, which means AMD will drop their price. Intel gets more expensive. So there is a little bit on the line right here. <laughs> Particularly my render speeds when I try to edit videos. <laughs> All right, here we go. Why not? This is what being a hardware enthusiast is all about right here is breaking your shit. <laughs> I'm not going to break it, but who knows? Oh, and uh, this kit is uh, by Rocket. I have a video on this kit, but I was kind of a scrub back then on how to make videos. So uh, still am. Can't tell I can't keep shit center. All right, let's do it. I don't even remember. Is it Roquette or is it Rocket? I think it's Roquette. Oh God, this is where you start shooting a brick. You could, oh, and that's it. Substrate broke off pretty easy. Well, not substrate, the IHS. The IHS, I hope I didn't break a substrate. You heard it's like a little thump it all of a sudden gives. That was actually um, a lot easier than the 7700K I did. That one was like a really loud pop. Hell, my mic not even probably picked that up. All right, so the substrate should move freely. Is it off? Yeah, it's off, okay. Uh, let's lightly lift that bitch up. Get off of there. Get off, damn you. Still a little bit of silicone. 
and that's it. So very easy, as you saw, this one doesn't have any capacitors on it, so this is a very low risk thing to do. Obviously, there's still, no one's gonna tell you there's no risk, but I'm telling you there's no risk. <laughs> What you're looking at, this is the silicone that I need to scrape off now. I need to get both sides of this cleaned off. Let me zoom in more. All right, yeah. So yeah, this is the silicone. The way I'm gonna do this, I'm not gonna reseal it for performance gains reasons. And um, the way I'm gonna be putting this board back in, I'm gonna have my computer laying flat. That way I can set this IHS on top of it relatively easy. The, the uh, thermal paste is pretty good about holding the stuff together. It's just, if you're deloading stuff for friends, you wouldn't want to transport it, um, delet it and not sealed. So if you're going to transport it, you probably want to seal it back. But you scrape this off, scrape this off. This is the uh, old thermal paste you can see. This is uh, the substrate. History lesson time. What is a substrate? I'm going to educate you what a substrate is. When we look at this thing, you see the shiny thing on the back. You don't see any circuits. You just, it's a little chip. This is the substrate. It's the back of it. For CPUs, what people will do, um, I think it was on 9th gen, uh, the higher end stuff, they would actually sand this back to decrease the difference between the stuff that matters, the front of this. You can see even the designs. That's where they get cut they would sand this back that way. The stuff that matters makes better contact with the IHS to get rid of heat. I think on the newer stuff, even Intel um, reduced how much substrate was left on it. So when you see this die, this is what you're seeing is the back of the chip. Okay, so there it is. That is your substrate. So let's start cleaning. And um, if you have AMD, I can't give you much advice on that, rather than I know you need to be careful. Because one, AMD uses a chiplet design, so it's not one center thing, you have two. But I'm sure people that make these kits already know how to get around that. The thing you'd be more worried about is knocking off capacitors, which uh, I know even some professionals have done. But this stuff with one small chip in the middle, no capacitors, because, you know, Intel puts theirs on the back. Um, pretty low risk. And it's amazing when you take this off, how much of the weight is actually just the IHS. Now, there's not a lot of weight on the actual chip. So it feels heavy, but it's not. What key cat? Yep. <laughs> okay. So with this, because there's no capacitors or anything, there's not a lot of risk of how much thermal paste you use, but you can use the uh, P method if you wanted to. But I think I'm gonna just go ahead and put a slight thing and paint it. Again, if it falls over, not that big of a deal. Okay, and that's it. Now, again, you do not have this glued anymore, so see how it freely moves. Just make sure when you put that on, the, um, the cooler will hold it down. Just gotta be extra careful when you go to mount it. That's it, that's a deal with. All right. <laughs> Got my GPU uh, cleaned up and thermal paste reapplied and deloaded my CPU. Thanks for watching.